Welcome back everyone, I'm CapKG, with me is Jordy, and we are back for some more Nomad. Season 1, Episode 3, called Trouble on Purpose. Last time, Nomad tried to do good, and it ended up not going too well for him. Destroyed half the town, mm -hmm. or so it seemed. And he was just trying to be helpful, poor he guy. We also uh, met Don Paragon, 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 Don Paragon. Who's the uh, fancy go. suit guy? Yeah. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, that guy is so legit. I want to see more of him. <laughs> he's, he's a hoot. So yeah, he's so funny. <laughs> um, who, and upon rewatching, I'm 99.99% .99 sure is not El Rey. Is so, not what? He's not El Rey. He's not the king. I'm like 99% oh. sure. Watching back. But so. he said that's what you get if you're the king. I know, but I still don't think he was talking about himself. Oh, Listen, okay. You have your theory, I have mine. At some point, the show will prove one of us right. And it's going to be right. me. All right, homie, so. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into episode It's going to be me. It normally <laughs> is. Dang it. <laughs> that was this guy from the uh, ending last time. Oh. And I suppose you made up your mind that this is my fault. Considering being deputy makes you in charge of the keys for the handcuffs and the cell, and you somehow managed to misplace them, while also <laughs> managing to lock yourself up in both, yeah, I'm supposing I am. I just wanted to see if I could get out. Well, can you or can't you? No, that's why I need oh the keys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Obviously. Sheriff, oh you gotta my see gosh. This. Get yes, some man, pants I on. To see. You look a little on in years, so I'll keep this brief. I'm hunting somebody what passed through this town of yours. Bliss Hill likes to keep clear of trouble. Whoever your quarry is, they ain't here. Best keep riding, son. So you ain't seen this fella? <gasps> like I said, his picture changed on the uh, ain't poster. Here. I know, Wait, now man. he looks all that was mean. That one fella, the one that brought the mill back to life? He did magic? You ran him out of town yourself. This you don't guy. remember that? You're the worst. Like Shut your damn mouth. Foot. Now, you're gonna go fetch this magic man and bring him to me. Or I'll be making some of that trouble y'all so keen to avoid. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to decline your offer. You know who I am, Sheriff? I'm the one they call the Ranch Hand. Ranch Hand? Deadliest cowpoke that in the That sounds southwest. gross. Done bad things to nice Doesn't sound intimidating at all. No. This bounty I'm after, biggest payday I'd ever seen. He's the dreaded nomad of nowhere. Gotta be honest, I'm willing to do a lot of bad things for this one. Starting huh? with these nice folk here. I've heard stories of you, ranch hand. Not sure how much I believe. Well. Just sounds See, like a gross, moment. smelly hand. <laughs> right. All I can think of is a hand that's like a oh, cow's butt thing? or something. Oh! Hey, get back! Oh, ranch <laughs> hand, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. That was Whoa! Inspector Gadget right there. So, you're going to get me that nomad, or I'm going to start making believers. One. <gasps> Uh, one. Why don't Please, you do it? Let the boy go. If this is truly the nomad you're hunting, he's evil. He won't care who you threaten. Well, that's not what I heard. Start unloading. The sooner we can be on our way, the sooner we can get back on the hunt for the nomad. Oh, my stars. Is that a Dairy Town 5000? I ain't seen one of those since I was back home. Aww. Captain Toth, right hand to Don Paragon. This outpost is behind on its shipment. You're the oil man? I am now. It was Paul before, but he hurt himself trying to get a running again. He's gone now. <laughs> oh. Well, we've got Awkward. a schedule to keep. Don Paragon doesn't want to fall behind, so we brought your water with us to avoid delays. Once we trade for your oil, we'll be on our way. Well, that's just it. 
pump's not working and we can't fix it. All we got left's a small reserve. Great, we'll take that then. But that's to trade for crops. She's right, we just can't. Not with the pump still broken. I understand your dilemma, but you can trade with me right now or send me back to the Dawn empty-handed. You know which one of those is worse. I'm sorry, the answer is no. You've already caught me in a bad mood. So if you don't change your mind, I'm going to have to drop the nice act. Where'd that whoa, whoa, come from? Let's just rustle up the old calm wagons, shall we? There's no need for a spat. Let me take a look at the machine, huh? Scout, they're refusing to pay the Don. There are rules. They're thirsty. And I used to fix these all the time back home. It won't hurt to try. Why again is Scout working with her? This is What's just so random. Axe? She wants to get that nomad so bad she don't care what's in her way. It's like I always say, Jethro. Crawled up her people battle axe. People. Well, at this rate, she's going to give my people a bad name. The Yadala are her people, too. She's doing it for them. What Come does she on, see in see her? She... You know, it's very sweet. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's something that happened in the past that they feel like the nomad was cause of. Wrong them. Well, it's sweet how much Scout sees in the in the leader too. I mean, I'm just saying, like maybe she believes in whatever her mission is or her reason, her motives. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Thought I might find you up here. Mary Cavern's one of Barty's favorite spots, besides the mill. If only I. <laughs> Oh, I, that's disgusting. <laughs> I came here to ask something of you. There's a real bull of a bounty hunter in town. He's fixing to cause all sorts of trouble. That is, unless we turn you over. Please, I've got nowhere left to go. The ranch hand is beyond this old man. And he's got my boy. I know you ain't got calls to do me favors after how I treated you. But if not for me, do it for Barty. You caused us a whole mess of trouble without ever meeting to, stranger. You ever thought what might happen if you went and started some trouble on purpose? Oh, he's gonna learn how to use his well, power. That's about all the jokes yeah. I know. Gotta be honest, didn't really figure y'all would hang around to see the showdown. We ain't got nothing else to do. So, uh <laughs> oh, uh, I got it from the Iron Border. Ever been up that way? Nope. What's it about? I feel like this guy's all talk. Know that yeah. One? I've never left this place. Because if he can't uh, find the nomad by himself, like, really? Here. What can he do? Okay. Howdy there, nomad. I hope you're here to turn yourself in. Cute. You're gonna risk a fight over this lot? way I heard, they don't even like you much. <laughs> Determination. Let's see if your magic is as good as they say. No man, use your magic on his arms. <laughs> Fancy trick. But your aim's up. Like how harder. everything has little what arms. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. Not a very good fighter. How has he survived this long? I don't know. I think I know just the protocol. Just the protocol. Don't tell nobody you've seen this. <laughs> Wait, how did he? 
Why? After all our missions, <laughs> the outskirts end in a standoff. What did I tell you, Jethro? The sordid cycle of generational poverty only begets violence. The only thing I be getting is bored. <laughs> <laughs> There's that turd. Oh, for a second there, that was gonna go right through that house I again. I know. Out! Oh boy, that seismoverter was a tricky customer, but I think I got it. Wait, what I miss? The nomad. Well, let's get to it then. We can't. Orders. But did you fix it or not? Oh, good news and bad news. The good is that I got the converter rig to last you a spell until you can get a replacement. The bad? Well, the pump isn't quite as busted as you think. The oil well's almost plumb dried out. You'll need to take your trade elsewhere. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for... Can we get this done already? <sighs> take it. We'll make do. Good. Load it up. Wait, that's it? That's all we trade them for? Rules are rules. Let's go. Lots of ground to make up. I have a feeling she might not stick oh. around with Hoth for very long. I don't think so either. <laughs> There'll be some conflict. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Looks like we're all back where we started. So what'll it be, Nomad? Care to save the little fella? Oh. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, but a little convenient. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Just a tad. <laughs> I saw that coming. Oh, crazy I eyes. Had it up to With your shenanigans. Now, it's time to collect that bounty on you. I oh, said he brought it to life. <gasps> oh, wait, where are the eyes and uh, the little hands? Yeah. There oh, they there they are. <laughs> I like this. That's cute. <laughs> well, buckle my boots. That's awesome. That was so smart of you to figure out you couldn't use your magic on his arm till he wasn't holding it no more. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> Oh, he's enough. a happy camper. Saved my boy. And thanks to the pack the ranch hand left behind, we got enough coin to get us by for a time. We owe you a great deal. Which is why it stings that I'm going to ask you to leave. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know sense of being in trouble, though. Nobody done it in longer than any of us have been alive. And we can't risk that kind of attention. And magic sends it all the way to the top. Yeah. So thank you. But I'll be thanking you more to leave and not come back. If I can ask you one more thing, don't tell Barty. He won't understand. Yeah, for what it's worth, I'm glad the story's wrong about you. It does make sense why you would need to ask him to go. Yeah, for sure. Time to rewrite the rest of them. Nomad. Okay, so I'm starting to wonder about that little light that flickers in him. Me too! Because... That... This is the second time after he's basically, like, done a good deed type thing that that's happened. Is it his heart warming up or something, you know? Yeah, or something like that, or like... 
We're gonna start getting into like theory crafting here, but, uh -huh. but he, he already seems like generally a good person. Yeah. Or attempts to be good, so I don't see like why his heart would necessarily need to warm up, but I wonder if it has something to do with like unlocking more magic or more potential for his magic kind of thing. Like I'm thinking like Hmm That's a good Yeah, like he starts with like some basic form of magic, like all he can do is bring things to life, right? That's all he can do. But what if there's like he has to use that in a way that then, you know, I guess, do good deeds or whatever, however that's going to end up being. And then that, in turn, like, gets him more powerful and unlocks other magics. And that form. Yeah, what if it also like unlocks, like, skills? Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he'll be able to talk once he has, like, certain amount of power. I don't know. I don't know if he'll ever be able to talk. Yeah, I don't Just know. Just because I think that character-wise, I think they're going for a mute, but maybe... I don't know. That I, I, I like the idea where if he earns more, he can do more. Yeah. I think that's definitely the way they're going with that. For sure. Um, That ranch hand guy. <laughs> so lame, ranch hand. It honestly just made me think of a goopy hand full of ranch. You were thinking ranch like the salad dressing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm thinking like... I was thinking goopy hand as well, Ooh. but I'm like an actual ranch hand, like a guy who works on a ranch and has to <laughs> stick his hand up a cow's butt. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. So, nope. yeah. That happened. Nope. That happened, yeah. <laughs> he was so lame. But I'm surprised they they um, touched on, like, Scout and that little, like, issue they had, but they didn't go really much into it. No. It, it was very quick. And I think the point of it, you know, kind of like we mentioned was that it's showing that scout isn't necessarily agreeing with whatever they're doing right now right like she has she has a difference of opinion there but like i said i think there's something about Hoth and scout's past that is bringing them together it's kind of having them be on this journey or at least to have initially met up and been partnered up and working together yeah so, so she cares she about her she follows her but she's she's probably coming to a a time where she can't um, put up with what they're doing at the time. Right. Yeah, like maybe she believes in the initial motivations but doesn't agree on the ways to to achieve whatever means she's after. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. That's what I think is going on there. So I think that's what the point of that scene was. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Any other kind of thoughts? Those were the two main things we saw, right? Yeah. I mean, with them and then with the Nomad. This show is really refreshing. It's very sweet and very entertaining, and it's got fun characters in it. I like it because I can't put my finger on it completely, but there's something about it that feels nostalgic to me um, from, like, mm -hmm. old, like, cartoon-type things or shows I used to watch oh. when I was a lot younger. I, don't, so, I, I can't really quite figure it out, but there's something about it that just reminds me of a lot of the stuff I used to watch. Yeah, kind of like Cartoon Network-type stuff I used to watch. I'm thinking, like, really old stuff. Like when I was a little kid and I was watching like even older like cartoon reruns, like seventies, eighties type things. Oh, I don't know. Could just be me, but that's that's cool. just the vibes it gives me. Cool, I like that. You know, aging myself by bringing up something like Inspector Gadget. I don't even know if kids <laughs> these days know who Inspector Gadget is. They probably don't. They don't know who Rugrats are. Okay. I, I'm done with this current generation. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, um, another enjoyable episode. Um, we'll see where this goes. I'm, I'm really, again, curious about that whole light thing. That's really the main thing I'm taking away from this episode. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun that I know the episodes are short and it's meant to be more of a, like, a innocent, warm, fuzzy vibe. But I would like to see a little more story. Yeah. You know. Like, and again, it's episode three. Right. Yeah. So they yeah. got to build up to it instead of just hitting. Yeah. Us. But I agree. I think, and I hopefully it's not going to be like. Never mind. I almost brought up something from Ruby that you haven't seen yet. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway, with the light thing, um, I hope it's something that they do explore in the subsequent episodes, and not just something that gets re is shown every once in a while, but never really explored or never any depth given to it. Yeah. Until like the very end. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that'll do it for us for this episode of Nomad, and we'll see you guys next week for the next one. See ya. Okay.